if there's a game company that I personally advocate for that children play their games uh, or teenagers because it teaches them very good values in life, it's from soft games. From soft games are next level difficult. Okay, the, the, I think the closest thing that I personally can remember is uh, there was like uh, Tenchu. You are the wind that moves through the air unseen. You are the darkness that goes unnoticed in the night. You are the lightning that strikes unannounced. You are the ninja, Rikimaru. You are the ninja who kills by stealth. You are the ninja who cannot be stopped. You're the ninja needs to sneak up on some of that dog poop in the backyard. Tenchu stealth assassins live by honor, kill by stealth. Uh, Shinobi was really difficult. Uh, and then you had, um... A ninja guy then. Action game of all time, Ninja Gaiden. Ready to put you unleash your inner ninja. Oh, I'll take a pound of that. Huh? Xbox is good to play together. And, and all those games were extremely difficult. Yeah, Devil May Cry, skip to if you are new to the Devil May Cry series. Um, but Devil May Cry 3 was extremely difficult. But these are great games because they are difficult. Essentially, we have so many games out there, right? It's very rare that we get games that are so difficult that when we beat them, we essentially ha celebrate like Kai Sinat did. I think he's hilarious, I think he's an amazing entertainer, and uh, the fact that he was dedicated so hardcore, 165 hours I think it was, uh, it, he was willing to invest that time into playing through Elder Ring, which is arguably, uh, it's not Sekiro difficult. If you beat Sekiro, you're, you are on, you understand difficult games. But I didn't always like a challenge. Uh, I was somebody who grew up in a very, very harsh environment, um, it, with very, very terrible conditions, probably should have been adopted, but that didn't work out. Um, but, uh, you know, it, it's one of those things that when you play a FromSoft game, you know what you're in for. You know you have to invest a lot of time in memorizing uh, bosses, moves, uh, the timing, everything. Uh, Stellar Blade I played recently. And I, I might do a video on this as well, uh, but basically Stellar Blade, it, you, it's a cakewalk all the way up to like the final two bosses, then it gets like extremely difficult. Um, but once you figure out the timing and you kind of know the moveset of uh, the boss that you're facing, the game becomes a lot easier. Another Crab's Treasure, that's a game that uh, me and Rocky are playing as well, and we absolutely love that game. I highly recommend it to anyone. Like something like most FromSoft games, the music I think is designed to kind of maximize uh, essentially uh, a sense of fear and anxiety and it just doubt. Well, I think those games are actually a good starting point for anyone who's not sure if they want to play FromSoft games. If you can play through those uh, and you can dedicate, you know, the time and you know, got, not get angry or frustrated, and which I've plenty of times hate this game. I hate it because you died probably like 100, 150 times. And then when you beat them, you're like, man, this game is incredible. It, it, it's like this weird shift in mindset, but that's okay. 
That's okay, uh, FromSoft games are amazing. For a long time, I can remember all the way back to the first Dark Souls game that came out on the PS3. And it just since that dropped, everybody has been like basking and begging, and not everybody. That's stupid to say. Why did I say everybody? Never mind. It's just a lot of people seem to be asking and have been asking for an easy mode. You just have to do a quick Google search and watch maybe a couple YouTube videos and. Yeah, there's definitely ways. Uh, Bloodborne, uh, for those who don't know, uh, has essentially like this secret room, and on the other side of the wall is a bunch of enemies, and you just get tons and tons of experience. Really, really, uh, and not even experience. Yeah, you get the little orb things um, so that you get points and that you can buy, you know, your ability points in that. And you can essentially max out your level to make it uh, you can skate through the entire Bloodborne experience. Uh, it's no fun. You know, it doesn't make it as fun as somebody who's, like, really focused and dedicated, and hey, you're just like, nah, man, I, I'm, I'm not doing that. I want to sit there and go in. We're on equal levels, and if I beat this thing, I know I did it I, with skill. So, uh, but, yeah, the gatekeeping of these games has always been weird to me, and, but... I think, yeah, with certain people who are have been clamoring for an easy mode when it comes to these games, I don't know why. Um, other than, yeah, you just don't want to do a Google search and figure out that, yeah, there actually is an easy mode. There's an easy mode in Elden Ring. Just pick the right class. Uh, find the right weapon. There's an easy mode in every FromSoft game. The only game that I don't think there's an easy mode on is Sekiro. Like, that's one of those games that... Hey, I'm sure there's probably YouTube tutorials on like how to beat Sekiro easily or get through it like the whole McCary counter I hate the McCary counter with a passion uh, But it's an amazing game. You know if you can get through it uh, but then there's other people who are just like, oh no, you know, you gotta hustle, you gotta grind, you gotta invest the hours, are you dedicated, are you dedicated? Essentially, you know, you have people who are like hell-bent on uh, the belief that, oh no, y y if you can't beat uh, any of these FromSoft games, you're just garbage at games, or uh, it, these games aren't for you, or it's... Well, how about you just kind of say, hey man, there, there's an easier way to beat this game, you just kind of pick this class and choose this weapon or watch this video and they kind of guide you through on how to kind of get through the game if you're more of a story focused oriented person either way so Elden Ring uh, for those who uh, well I mean if you know about Elden Ring you already know the expansion is supposed to drop next month in June People are psyched for it. I'm psyched for it. Uh, Rocky's psyched for it. Our friend Tim's psyched for it. But essentially, this says from software producer reappears after three months, drops an Elden Ring DLC image that looks exactly like Bloodborne, explains nothing, and then leaves. Posting an image just to uh, essentially cause a, uh, a stir or a ruckus, if you will. Uh, kind of reading over this article, it looks like this is probably just an image from. Uh, Elden Ring's expansion um, or DLC. I'm hoping Bloodborne 2 or Bloodborne Remake. I'm fine with Bloodborne Remake. Uh, it, it like you don't have to do Bloodborne 2. You just give me a remake, put it on PC, 
I I'm fine with that. I'm sure a lot of people would be fine with that. But we'll see. We'll have to wait and see. And, uh, you know, hopefully uh, it's one of the games that is revealed. Abducted by my brain and it drains all the dopamine Pain leaving nothing but the dreams that have been holding me Reality cracks and it falls out